If you're growing up, do a more certified pilot. Smoking on one of my uh, early afternoon blunts. Yo, we trying to get the up uh, 10k subscribers by March, bro. So we need you to R T N U. Run those numbers up. Hit that subscribe. Blaze up that like button, bro. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in the world of marijuana today, bro. Over 200 pounds of hydroponic marijuana with high levels of THC discovered during a traffic stop. 50-year-old Dijong Wang was charged. Well, hold the fuck up, bro. Hold the fuck up, bro. Yo, now, now tell me, tell me, tell me, bro. Well, you heard this. Over 200 pounds of hydroponic marijuana with high levels of THC discovered during a traffic stop. If you now, now when I heard that, my mind thought of an individual. It thought, it thought, it thought of who could possibly be carrying that amount of marijuana during a traffic stop. And I thought of two people. I thought of a white hippie dude or a black. No, I mean, uh, drug dealing ass, selling ass nigga. That was what I thought, bruh. Not at all. Old, did I think? Wang. Not at all did that even cross my mind, bruh. Am I, am I? Am I racist for that? Do I need to be canceled, bruh? For not thinking that Chinese people can carry that much weed? That's, that's off, that's off topic, bruh. Let's jump back. Let's jump back. Let's jump back, bro. Over 200 pounds outlook, of though. hydroponic marijuana with high levels of THC discovered during a traffic stop. 50-year-old Dijong Wang was charged with trafficking large amounts of marijuana. A second suspect was also arrested on the same charge. He was identified as 27-year-old Hugh Lee. But okay. federal investigators say they believe his ID is fake. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier covers DEA operations. He's joining us live from outside the Duval County Jail, where both mm. men remain in custody tonight, Eric. Yes, that's right. They remain here in custody at the Duval County Jail. And get All right, hold on. Stop. 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 I have a couple questions before we go through this story. What the hell are these niggas driving? 240 pounds of marijuana. What the hell was they driving? See, and then again, like, like, see, see, this puts me, this puts me in my pre, my pre, my pre death bit, uh, thing. Because when I think of, uh, 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 Asian Americans, I think of small vehicles. It was not fitting 240 pounds of marijuana in the small vehicle. What the hell was y'all driving? The hell was y'all driving, bro? Fund that a half million dollars each. Now, according to the federal agents I spoke with, uh, they believe that both men may be part of a large-scale marijuana trafficking organization. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Federal agents say this is what that that what the fuck, bro? That that yeah. What the hell was y'all driving? What did y'all put that weed in? That's it. Ain't no harder, bro. That's ain't no hard. Then y'all got y'all got pulled over in a, in a traffic stop. What the hell was y'all driving, bruh? Marijuana with a street value of up to a half million dollars looks like it was transported to Jacksonville from California. Federal agent. That's how much a half million dollars a week is, right? That didn't look like that. Didn't, that didn't look like a lot for a half million, bruh. It's. How high was the THC in that? What kind of weed was that? Gents knew the shipment was soon arriving to the River City and asked the Florida Highway Patrol to be on the lookout for the suspected vehicle. Who was it? spotted the compact SUV speeding down Dunn Avenue and pulled the vehicle. A compact SUV? Compact SUV. Uh... I have, to, I have to do this, bro. Um, got the, got the, how big is the compact SUV? A RAV4? A, a, a Mazda CX-5? A Forester? 
They had that much weed in the Forester? They had that much weed in the Forester. Ooh, they sitting on the shit, bro. Like, like, what? Uh, okay, okay, bro. Yo, 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 had it. Yo, all right, okay. Vehicle over. Investigators say the overwhelming smell of marijuana emanating from the SUV gave the trooper probable cause to search the. I can believe that shit smelled like all the weed, bro. I bet that bitch smelled like all the weed in in the world, bro. That shit smelled like that shit smelled like the inside of this blunt, bro. Like the inside of this cherry. I bet I bet you that shit smelled like the inside of this cherry. The vehicle. And that's when 240 pounds of marijuana was discovered. Yo, yo, no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. All right, so hold on. I think he's about to describe to me how they put that shit in here. Now, this is going to have to be some Tetris type of shit, bro. This is going to have to be some straight Tetris type of shit in order to get all that shit into a fucking Forester. To a Forester? A Rye for? Want to enter perspective? That is exactly 10 pounds less than what I currently weigh. 58 year old Dijon Wang was you arrested and charged bitch. with trafficking marijuana. His passenger, who was identified as Hugh Lee, was also charged with trafficking. Jacksonville okay. DEA special agent in charge Mike Dubet says transporting 240 pounds of marijuana at one time leads him to believe both men are part of a marijuana trafficking organization. There's people that are growing it. So there's people that are transporting it. Are they there's saying people it? that are receiving it? There's people that are storing it. There's people that are distributing it. There's people that are breaking it down to sellable amounts. So yeah, this is this is this is an organization. Dubet says the seizure okay. of this amount of marijuana at one time doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it usually leads to more arrests. And right now, they expect to identify and arrest more suspects between Jacksonville and California as this investigation continues. Uh, that's ugly. Of course, some people will look at the arrest of these two men and say they can't believe that they were both hauled off here to the jail over something that they may describe as simple as marijuana. But right. law enforcement say a half million dollars uh, worth of marijuana with high THC uh, levels uh, breathed gun violence on the street. Shut uh, that shit up. Repeating drug dealers. Reporting Shut that shit up, bro. Company, Channel 4. You said that shit the fuck up, bro. Nope. You just fucking lost me, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah, you just fucking lost me, bro. <laughs> that about a week, bro. Joke, bro. I mean, I mean, okay, okay, okay. Can't you can't rule that out? You can't rule that out because, um, if you have that much weed stored somewhere, and motherfuckers know there is a uh, motherfuckers who will come try to take it. That's 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 true. That's true. But, and, and nah, bro. You don't put that as the rule, bro. You don't try to make that the rule. Oh. Um, let's, uh. Let's slip slide real quick, bro.